Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 27th, 2021. Well, my goodness, everyone, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. I know I had a good weekend. My legs are actually a little bit sore after all of my hiking that I did this weekend, but it was a nice, relaxing time. So thanks, everyone, for the for the day off on Friday. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today on the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts. You know, there's a, a tremendous bullish move back up. Look here in the Dow, you can see we had a tremendous um, relief rally in that chart. But depending on how you draw, you know, these trend lines, we still have quite a little bit of work here in the Dow to recover let's jump over to the diamonds here and see if we see kind of the same thing and i gotta say we really do as you can see here we have that down or that uptrend break here in the chart we still have a significant amount of price resistance in this chart that we still need to deal with and um, we have on the diamonds, the only index right now, running into that price resistance of the 50-day moving average. And we see all of this um, congestion of those moving average technicals also pro providing that um, resistance in the chart. Now we have to keep in mind that we have rallied from the low here to the high over 1200 points in the Dow in five days so we're going to have to watch that carefully and see whether or not we can actually push on through that 50-day moving average or if we happen to find out that there could be some entrenched bears up here willing to fight so let's take a look at the spy now spy had a nice bounce back as well spy sharply off of its lows in just a few days as you can see we rallied up here really strongly and now we have to um, deal with the overhead resistance above and unfortunately that overhead resistance um, comes at a time where we just have a little bit of potential uncertainty this week ahead. And we also have that slight chance, take a look right here, that this could turn into a head and shoulders top if we were to find a reason to fail up here. We need to see that little bit of a push here. We need to see that bullishness in that chart. And remember, markets can go three ways. We can move up, pop through there, we can go down, or we could decide to just rest here. And there may be some reason that we might rest here this week. Um, with this uncertainty of the debt ceiling, um, infrastructure passing, the political wrangling going on. So keep a close eye on that. There may be just a little bit of choppiness with that uneasy uncertainty that we have here on those political votes coming up later this week. Let's take a look at the cues now. Oh, and by the way, clearly we had a, whoops, Clearly we had a nice improvement here in the technicals with the SPY closing back above its 50 day moving average. But I gotta tell you that it was closing above was not exactly a confident close on Friday with that possible dark cloud cover. So watch this carefully here. One of the things we don't wanna see is we don't wanna see a sinking back down below that 50 day moving average creating that possible failure at the 50. QQQ also, Nice big rally back to the upside. Again, not exactly a great confidence uh, maker here on Friday as we challenge this price resistance in the chart. And let's keep in mind we still have this downtrend resistance that we have to deal with here in the QQQ. However, resting up here is a bullish sign for the market. If we can hold above this price support in here and hold above that 50-day moving average, we can certainly see those bulls be engaged in here and and attack and push on through that resistance however if we were to push back down if we were to fail but back below that 50-day moving average I would expect this 
pipe support to be tested. So watch that cl closely in here. If we continue to just rest sideways, that would be probably the best circumstance. And um, I suspect that there, we could see a lot of bit of that a lot of that choppiness this week with just some of those uncertainties out there. Let's take a look at our IWM. Now IWM also crossing back above its 50 day moving average. However, we have an extra problem here. We have that downtrend. We have a year's worth of price congestion in the chart right in here. So we'll have to watch this closely. Now energy sector stocks have done a really good job of helping that IWM cross back up but I got to tell you, this is not all that uh, certain of a pattern in here just yet. And that possible failure that could occur in this area certainly still has uh, some validity to watch. We could rest right in here. And again, I think that would probably be one of the best things we could do is just consolidate and rest, spill off a little bit of this volatility. But we'll have to wait and see. An attack that would just push us straight through here. I gotta say seems a little bit unlikely to me, but um, certainly is possible if we can find reason for bullishness. Let's take a look at our um, VIX this morning. Now our VIX continues to drop and we had a nice little drop even though we had that little bit of an uncertain close on Friday. Notice that we've dropped back down and we did break back below that upside trend. So if we can hold that and keep this VIX down here, that would be good for the market. We're well below that 20 handle area where I keep suggesting that we have a pretty significant resistance or support level. So we're back down below that. That's a bullish sign. We'll just want to make sure that we can push on through on down here if we're going to be bullish in the market. What we don't want to see is those bears fighting back in these resistance levels and this pushing back up above that 20 handle area. So watch that close. And then let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 on Friday, at one point in time, we were kind of stretched up here and um, we ended up pulling back by the end of the day and that weakened or softened up that T2122 significantly. So you can see we've put, we pulled back in here. That leaves us an opportunity if we can find reason for bullishness this morning. We certainly have that upside move um, available to us to uh, push on through to the upside. And if we find those bears um, find reason for inspiration, um, then we obviously have a big downside opportunity as well. So keep a close eye on that. Our T2107 had a nice improvement. Whoops. Had a nice improvement last week, but we still haven't resolved much in here. As you can see, we still have this major downtrend here in the T2107. And we did push up here into some price resistance on that. What we need to see is we need to see enough bullishness that we can get those, all of these stocks that are below that 200 day moving average starting to push back up, providing some lift to the overall market. So if we can push up and actually hold that downtrend as support, then we could see some upside move here in the chart. We don't want to see that push through in that failure like we had right up here. We need to see us push through and actually hold, show that bullishness to move on through. But let's keep in mind, guys, it's really easy to get caught up in a market like this as we rally thinking everything's great, everything's good. But I got to tell you, with only 44% of the stocks above their 50 day moving or 200 day moving average, it's not all good. So keep a close eye on this. If this starts to sink again, it can be a pretty heavy weight for the market. Let's take a look at our T2101. And our T2101 market breadth continues to pull back. So we're not getting that um, uh, super, super bullish energy. And I suspect we could see this week a little bit of choppiness in the market around these uncertainties as we wait on Congress and things um, to get their act together. Whether they'll ever get their act together, that's a question. But watch that closely. Um, we continue to drift 
um, in that uh, market breadth. Um, certainly remaining under this long-term downtrend um, in the chart. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things that we'll want to be thinking about as we move along. First off, today we're going to have that durable goods order here first thing this morning. Uh, keep an eye on that. Now, what consensus is expecting is they're expecting an improvement. Last reading was a negative 0.1. They're looking for a, a positive 0.6 in durable goods. So we're looking for those durable goods to perk up here a bit. Let's keep in mind, guys, it's not really showing in here. It should be showing on this calendar, and I don't know why they haven't updated this, but we have a big week of Fed talk out there. We've got all kinds, just a parade of Fed speakers all week. And as a matter of fact, I believe Jerome Powell is supposed to be speaking to Congress, uh, testifying to Congress this week. So uh, just keep in mind, those always create those uncertainties in the market. Notice on uh, Tuesday, we've got international trade and goods. We've also got consumer confidence, petroleum status on Wednesday, and then we hit GDP and jobless claims. Those could be um, big numbers for the week. And then personal income and ISM coming in here on Friday as you plan your week forward. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is kind of light this morning. Um, we we have only 11 companies listed on the calendar and a uh, large number of those are unconfirmed reports. So I could really only come up with two potential notables. Um, CNXC would be one of those notables to keep an eye on. They will be reporting um, today, so watch that closely. And ACB, which, you know, um, yeah, somebody could argue is not notable at all. Um, but watch those um, closely today for their potential reports. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, I would certainly um, appreciate it if you would click those thumbs up buttons, leave those brief comments um, on the video that helps the algorithm to continue to show um, these videos to more folks. And I just wanna say thanks to everyone. Also, click that share button and just post this video out on your social media. That helps us find new folks that might be interested in uh, market information like this and helps to continue the channel growing. So thank you everyone. Also, thank you so much to everyone who is supporting the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link. Just below the title of the video, you guys are truly, truly awesome and I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys, We've got an awful lot of volatility in this market, and that's probably going to continue. And we could see a challenging week with the uncertainty of the things coming. Remember, um, Congress has delayed, or Nancy Pelosi delayed the vote until Friday, um, October 1st. That is the deadline here for a debt ceiling um, uh, well, the, what they're planning to do is suspend the debt ceiling, I guess. But keep in mind, that is, uh, we could go into a government shutdown if they can't get that done. Now, what they're trying to do this week is they're trying to pass an infrastructure bill, a one and a half trillion dollar infrastructure bill that was approved by the Senate. However, her, her party is not overly supportive of that, that unless they can get their three and a half trillion dollar package as well. So there's a lot of negotiating that's going to go on this week. And that uncertainty could create some ripples in the market. So when we have uncertainty like that, possible government shutdown and things like that, we can see the market gyrate around and it can actually move in pretty large moves. So be really, really careful today and think carefully about the decisions you make in trading. Um, stay focused to some good, a good set of rules 
and make sure you understand the risk of every trade that you take because of that gyration. And remember, next week we're going to be right into that uh, monthly jobs number and um, lots of lots of volatility around that that could ensue. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. Um, Lulu, as you guys remember, is one of those stocks that I've been talking about. And I really like this pattern here in Lulu. Very nice pattern, breaking through resistance, holding in here. Notice we're slipping out here toward trend. That's a nice looking chart in that possibility that that could push on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on Lulu. It's looking pretty darn good in here and has that upside opportunity in those charts. Um, let's take a look at um, Crocs. Crocs is also a very, very bullish chart. Been running in a nice upside trend, as you can see here, breaking through resistance levels. We came back, tested support, pushing up. Now we're getting this little resting pullback right in here. And as that slides out here toward trend, I would be watching for that next opportunity in that chart. So keep a close eye on Crocs. Um, as you guys know, I've been keeping a close eye on Intel. And Intel is really in one of these patterns that um, has been very, very productive for me for a long time. And by the way, there will be a video coming out on this pattern um, and how we can find it um, really easily in, an LT in our LTA scanner. But keep a close eye on this. This is kind of a tried and true reversal pattern. And we break that downtrend and then we have to prove that we can hold a support. We had tried once before up here, but that volatility of last week kind of got the better of Intel here. So if this can kind of prove some support right in this area, prove to hold, we can get that inspiration in here. Intel's been beat down an awful lot, and it's one of those tech sector stocks that may have that opportunity to be the better buy um, in tech. So watch that closely on Intel. Also keeping an eye on these energy stocks, if we take a look at XLE, XLE uh, moving up nicely here, breaking through that resistance. Now, I do have to say, when we surge this much that quickly, I'm going to expect some kind of a resting pullback to occur here soon in those energy sector stocks. So watch that closely. We will be running into this price resistance area right here. It looks like this morning on this gap up in energy. So watch that closely. We could run into some trouble there. But watch that. If that can hold, if that can hold a higher low in there, there may be quite a few of those energy sector stocks that could be looking good. You know, take a look at like Devon Energy, big strong move, breaking through resistance resistance levels, needs a rest or a pullback, a consolidation of some kind to uh, come back in here and um, hold on to that trend. But there's a lot of these stocks looking pretty good and holding up quite well. So keep a close eye on those. You might want to take a look at um, some of these stocks like um, defensive sector stocks like Constellation Brands. Constellation is trying in here. There's another one of those patterns. If we can break up through, notice we had this double bottom in this chart. We still need to break that downtrend and prove to hold. Might be worth putting that on the list, keeping an eye on it. Could be a good buy if that can hold in uh, that chart. Also, you might want to take a look at financial sector. The financial sector has rallied back nicely. Now, I do have to say that we still have some challenges here in this sector. Now it's pushing up into this price resistance. This is a big stretch back to the upside. And keep in mind, we had that double top failure that occurred right in here. So as we push back up, I would want to see some kind of a resting consolidation, some kind of a pullback in here that holds a higher low before I really jump into a trade on that to the upside. So watch that closely. Now, I apologize, I don't have a lot here. Remember, I was gone this weekend, so I apologize for that. But hey, I wanna wish you guys all a fantastic day in your trading. I wanna wish you wonderful results. Um, be safe out there, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning. Thanks everyone, have a great day.